Iran has reached a new milestone in its domestic military artillery vehicle production with the introduction of the Rod 2M, a tracked self-propelled howitzer featuring a 155mm cannon. This armored artillery system exemplifies Iran's growing self-reliance in defense technology, aimed at enhancing firepower, mobility, and battlefield survivability for its armed forces. The RAD-2M is designed as a highly mobile artillery platform, capable of traversing diverse terrains while providing sustained, high-precision indirect fire support. The RAD-2M is built on a Soviet-made T-72 track chassis, with a driver situated on the left side of the hull and the power pack located on the right. The turret is mounted at the rear, optimizing the vehicle's layout for operational efficiency. The hull and turret are constructed from all-welded special alloy steel, which offers protection against small arms fire and artillery shells. Additionally, the Rod 2MS multi-fuel engine boasts a high power-to-weight ratio, ensuring speed and stability across various environments. One of the standout features of the Rod 2M is its automatic laying system, which accelerates targeting and enhances firing accuracy. The howitzer is equipped with a direct-fire telescope, high-vision optics, and a GPS system, enabling it to function effectively as a standalone unit or in coordination with other military assets. Its automatic fire control system significantly improves operational efficiency by automating much of the firing process. Modern safety and support systems, such as nuclear, biological and chemical, NVC protection, air conditioning, and fire extinguishing systems, further enhance its functionality. Weighing 36,000 kilograms, the Rod 2M maintains agility while carrying a substantial ammunition load. It measures 9.05M in length, 3.38M in width, and stands 3.46M tall, providing a low profile that enhances protection. The vehicle is powered by a 700-horsepower diesel engine, resulting in a power-to-weight ratio of 19.4 horsepower per ton, allowing it to reach a top speed of 65 km per hour on highways and 30 km per hour off-road. It is capable of overcoming vertical obstacles of up to 800 mm, crossing trenches of 2,400 mm, and fording water up to 1.2 m deep. The RAD-2M's 155 mm cannon can fire standard projectiles up to 30,000 m and achieve a maximum range of 40,000 m with enhanced rocket-assisted projectiles. The gun, with a length of 8.4 m, provides high firepower for long-range engagements. Its firing rate of 4 rounds per minute ensures sustained support during operations. The vehicle is also equipped with a 12.7mm auxiliary machine gun mounted on the turret roof for self-defense in close quarters combat. The RAD-2M boasts layered armor protection, an NBC suite, and modern night vision systems, offering high levels of crew survivability. The vehicle's design emphasizes resilience against enemy fire and environmental threats, supported by automatic fire suppression and a shock-absorbing suspension system. The system's advanced suspension and automatic gun-laying capabilities ensure stability during firing, while the fire control system facilitates efficient targeting. Its high mobility on both highways and rough terrain allows for flexibility in combat situations. Crew safety is a priority, with advanced NBC protection ensuring survivability in chemically or biologically hazardous environments. The development of the Rod 2M signifies a critical step in Iran's efforts to modernize its military capabilities and diminish reliance on foreign technology. This self-propelled howitzer will significantly enhance Iran's artillery capabilities, providing a versatile and powerful tool for both conventional warfare and asymmetrical conflict scenarios. The RAD 2M's ability to deliver long-range, precise firepower combined with its mobility and technological sophistication positions it as an essential asset for the Iranian military. In summary, the Rod 2M not only showcases Iran's growing proficiency in indigenous military manufacturing, but also provides the Iranian army with the necessary firepower, mobility, and independence to effectively address modern battlefield challenges while reducing dependency on external suppliers.